it, I guess it's kind of a frequent theme that you see throughout American American history at large, where there'll be guns that are sort of favored by the cops, and then criminal elements favor them because they're the cop favored gun. And then I guess you sort of see that same thing with it happens with military guns, right? The thing the military is using invariably gets a little cheaper, a little more mm-hmm. on shelves, either because the military things the aspect is cool and people want to buy it, or just because there's you know extra ones floating around, whichever the case may be. But uh, Glock certainly did, you know, seize that part of the market, and it seems like a lot of it was by mistake because you know he didn't right. set out to design a a gun that all law enforcement would be using. And he didn't set out to design a gun that was going to you know, sort of dominate the playing field in such a way that multiple other companies' entire handgun mainstay line are just Glock clones. There's, right. You can make an entire company off of just knocking off the gun that he designed in the 80s. And then 